Good afternoon from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well. Sending plenty of love your way as usual now. Um, sorry for worrying a few of you on the live last night. I had a couple of drinks after the hospital. Um, but pleased to tell you this morning, I think the mist or the fog has disappeared from my head or my eyes. Uh, so it would seem the bug's gone. So I was feeling much more like my old self um, this morning. And you've been asking for some stories, um, some of you. And I'm going to spoil you all today. And I've dug into the archives and I've come up with an absolute corker. True crime experts out there will be loving this one. It involves Patrick Tate and a geezer called Bolo Dixon. The fight um, took place around about 90 or early 91 in HMP Swellside. People have been asking uh, about certain things if this incident actually took place. It definitely took place the way that I'm telling you it did right now. So, Pat Tate was doing his bits and bobs in Swellside, which means that he was hustling with a few bits here and there. All right then, drugs, right? And he used to get these things, Pat, and he would give one, two or three, four um, different geezers on different wings so that he could get canteen, maybe phone cards, um, send out money ways to pay for the parcels when they come back in. It's common knowledge. Uh, many of us used to live like that in jail, but Pat was always a big player um, in, that, in that game, if you get what I mean now. Bolo Dixon, I don't know whether he's a real Jamaican Yardie, but he definitely talks like one. So Pat, he didn't have much around him, uh, Bolo, no disrespect or nothing, right? So Pat thought he would be one of a good runner on the wing that he was on, yeah? So he was laying him on stuff, probably about an eighth, a sixteenth, 1.7 or 1.8 of gear or something like that, right? And for the first two weeks, um, Bolo was paying him in, in the way that Pat had asked him to pay. And then ran right about the third time or the fourth time, um, he started to get slower. The money wasn't coming in. The goods wasn't coming in like the first couple of weeks. So Pat's walks around onto their spur, right? So I think Pat lived around there and Bolo lived around the other side, right? Swell side, one, two, three, yeah, three spurs, right? So... Pat got the feeling that he was being mugged off and he felt mugged off after this because he went onto Bolo Spur where, you know, the Jamaican contingent, fair to say, was banging dominoes, a lot of loudness at that time in Swellside, a no-go area um, for some. Uh, so it seemed, seemed at that time in Swellside. So Pat's walked up on his own, in front of him, in front of everyone, and he said, listen, you t you're taking a piss out of me. Where's my things, mate? But the way Bolo tried to mug him off, like, move from me, boy. Yeah, you chatting to in front of him. You know, everyone was looking round, and like, you could see Pat was thinking, what? You, you, I'm not no mug. And Pat went bang and knocked him, and he went over. They had these little cupboards that they used to, a locker. That's where they were playing the dominoes on about four of them over that. And Bolo Dixon went falling over that. So... They were all getting out the chairs and all that and going, you know, like in, in certain lingo terms and all that. But Pat, Pat really wasn't afraid and all that. But he walked off anyway. Later on in the day, probably the evening time, right, when Pat's thinking it's done and dusted, all right, I punched him in his mouth. I'm not going to get my money now. Um, so I'm, I wash my hands on it kind of thing. But I dealt with the disrespect, Yeah. What happened when they was going, they went down for dinner in the evening, right? Pat was walking back with his tray back to his cell, yeah? Or his plate and whatever, right? But remember, Pat used to have people cooking in the kitchen at that time as well, right? Um, I, no, 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 Curtis one of them was, Curtis one of them was there in the middle 90s, yeah? Or early, no, a bit before, it doesn't matter anyway. But, um, so Pat's walking with his things. Bolo Dixon done a really sneaky one and he run behind him and went jam with a spike and stabbed him in his leg and Pat dropped everything and all that. But Bolo Dixon backed off and run, right? So Pat had to go um, healthcare. Um, that's how he got that little scar on his leg. It was in Swellside for that incident, yeah. Uncle Yami clarifies that this, um, this afternoon, right? So what happened was Bolo legged it. He legged it 
from, he went down a block, or they moved him, I don't know if he legged it, right, um, but he got moved, and Pat stayed there, um, the reason why I know this is because he came um, to Wayland um, with me after that on the bus, all right, sending loads of love, be up later on.